Welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we're looking at Gandalf the White, the 1-6 scale figure by Asmus, part of their Crown series. The slipcover has an off-white marble pattern all over. In the center, the top of Gandalf the White's staff. On either side of the staff, in bright gray, is the leaf pattern of Gandalf's doublet. The inner box that holds Gandalf and Shadowfax is removed by pulling up on the ribbon loop on top. A protective cover features a photo of Gandalf on Shadowfax riding over the Peloton fields. Underneath that, the top foam layer holds Gandalf. A smaller box to the side protects the portrait of Gandalf the White, and surrounding those are his accessories. The lower foam tray holds the display base and Shadowfax. In the center, Gandalf the White. To his right, Shadowfax. On this side, Glamdring and his scabbard, the white staff, and an assortment of extra hands. The portrait beautifully captures the look and emotion of the character. The hair is off-white and is hand-applied and styled. It parts down the center and falls down to the shoulders. Deep lines in the forehead, bags under the eyes, and wrinkles, as well as the skin tone with subtle freckling, gives the character age, one who's roamed Middle Earth for quite some time. The eyes look up slightly, and the gloss gives them a look of determination. The hooded outer cloak is an off-white cream color, the inner lining in a taupe. It's held together in the front with an elven brooch. Down the two edges is an intricate strip of white stitchwork. Under the cloak, Gandalf wears a long split robe. The subtle pattern over the white breaks up the solid color. The doublet over his chest is embroidered with a leaf pattern, the one we saw earlier replicated on the outer box, and on the upper area is a lattice pattern. The belts that hold the scabbard are made of real leather and come pre-tied. A second robe in warm gray hangs from the waist. The pants are cream-colored cotton and are tucked into the handmade boots. The boots are soft, light gray leather, a suede almost, with real metal eyelets and real hand-tied laces. The hard sole is hand-stitched to the bottom. The ball joint for the head allows us to turn from side to side, lean in either direction, tilt forward, and extend back. The shoulder has a butterfly joint that will move the arm forward or back. A ratchet will allow it to extend straight out to the side 90 degrees. The arm can be moved forward and back. The elbow is also a ratchet and will go to 90 degrees. The cut bicep lets us move the arm in or out, and a traditional wrist peg means we get plenty of rotation and flex at the hand. The torso can get a good amount of rotation side to side, and deep leans in either direction, can crunch forward, and can extend back. The leg can kick out 90 degrees to the side. The entire thigh can rotate left or right. We can kick forward and back. The knee is double jointed, and the hidden joint beneath the boot allows us to lift and lower the foot rotate side to side, as well as rock in either direction. Glamdring is made of metal and has a weight and shine to it. The handle has the look of wrapped leather in blue, and it fits inside the white hard scabbard that hangs on the belt. The staff is sleek and straight in a bright white. The top has elven style arches that create a hollow in its center. There are hands for holding the staff and Glamdring as well as assorted gesturing hands. The base represents the grasslands. It's in an off-white. The top is flocked in an array of greens and browns with raised areas to simulate the fields. On the front is a shiny chrome Gandalf nameplate. Shadowfax, the lord of all horses. Shadowfax is made of polystone and has rooted hair on the tail and the mane. The muscles in the chest, ribs, and the legs are accurately sculpted, as well as the pattern of hair all over the body. A light paint wash brings out the details, particularly around the legs. The face has deep, soulful, dark, bright eyes, and the muzzle is done in a soft, gradiated black. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Gandalf the White six-scale figure by Asmus, part of their Crown series. 
For more information about this figure, follow the link below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek sideshow.